Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we got Gunslinger, Hellmark Station, Suicidal. I know you're probably waiting, you know, the edge of your seat, waiting to know what that dinner I was texted was. I still don't know, I haven't, I haven't left my seat. I'm just recording the next episode right now. A Hellmark Station was picked as a random, I believe that's the first time I've ever had Hellmark Station as random. I believe it is alphabetical. Alphabetical is my current working theory. Um, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't seem random. I, I feel like it's deterministic, at least. You know, if this map, this map. It might be alphabetical. It could be a specific order in which maybe the maps are in the uh, like file directory or something. Like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. But uh, it's not... It's definitely not random otherwise we'd be seeing a whole lot more spillways um, steam fortress we'd be seeing a lot more uh, yeah just a lot more of everything man we'd be seeing a lot more of everything and a lot less Ashwood Asylum less farmhouse but we don't get that no we get uh, smack 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 and we get um, not random. <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay. It's it's all fun. I'm not really playing for the game anyway. I'm not really playing for the game. I gotta go grocery shop, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing. I like to kind of have an idea of what kind of foods I'd like when I go to the grocery store. I don't like planning it out too much, you know. Like I like I like going to the grocery store, poking through, and. Being like, yeah, this works, this works, this works, this works, this works. You know, I'm picking it up and then just figuring something out. But I do like having a, a sort of baseline idea of what kind of food I'd like for the week. You know, am I going to be in a soup mood this week? I have to make sure I buy soup supplies then, right? Like, I can't just go to the store and end up with soup supplies. If I don't start in the soup aisle, then it's not going to be soup, you know? Well, not really soup aisle, but... If I don't, if I don't start in the aisle that would uh, accommodate soup, then there's definitely no chance of me making soup. Because I'll, I'll have picked something else and it won't work with soup. And then I'll be like, well, I don't really have the option to have soup. So i got to make sure that I know that I want soup first. But I don't really have to know what kind of soup. I just know that I want soup and I pick up things that work for soup. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to be doing this week. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking maybe a stir-fry week. So I have to get maybe some rice and stir-fry friendly stuff. No, uh, I wouldn't want to buy too, many, uh, too much bread you know, this week if I'm going for a stir-fry. I want to get into the habit of making my own bread too. There's a there's a main issue with making my own bread, and that's with um, you think with regards to like the time spent on making it, but it's actually with regards to the time. I don't know how to explain this that it sounds different. <laughs> um, <coughs> it's not with regards to the time that I spend making it. It's not really a time constraint sort of like that, but it is kind of a time constraint. Because it's the time that I would have to spend. It's not. It's not with the amount of time that I have to spend waking it, but with like the literal sort of like time of day that I would have to be spending making it. Uh, just kind of conflicting with um, other people being home and in the kitchen and making a mess and 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 stuff. Which is why another reason why I just want to live on my own, dude. I can't wait. I can't wait until it can happen one day, maybe. It would be fabulous. It would be fabulous. But, uh... I reckon I could find a time that I can make bread each week. You know? It's cheaper than buying your own bread. Not that bread is particularly expensive anyway, but it's cheaper than buying your own bread. Um, I want to get into sourdough. I've tried sourdough a couple of times, but, um... I just, uh... I don't know. Honestly, a big part of it is my mother ends up annoying me about it, and I just, I don't know. I, I, one of my pet peeves is when I'm trying to do something, and other people are like, ooh, what are you doing? What's that? And they're like, how is your thing going? And I'm like, I just, I just want to do it, and then when I have something, I'll, I'll talk about it. But like, just don't bother me, okay? I don't like, I don't like that, that hovering that goes on, you know? That's a lot of what I get here when I'm, when I'm doing something like that. 
So the issue with that is, is if I have uh, if I have sourdough, right? I have to leave it somewhere. And then people are like, "Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this?" And I just I don't want to have to explain it every day. And they're like, "Oh, your thing's looking like it's doing something." I'm like, yeah, I know it's supposed to. It's literal bacteria. It's just annoying. I've wanted to make my own kitchen downstairs, but I don't have the money for that, and my family's not also also not really uh, up for the idea of renovating the house. <laughs> Which is reasonable. That's reasonable, I suppose. Want a sink down here at least? That's my tip. Good for a sink where I can uh, wash some dishes, maybe a, a little uh, hot plate or something to, to cook some stuff. I'd I'd live a I'd live a nocturnal lifestyle if if that's what I had to do to be able to have my freedom, like 100%. You know, I, I, I wake up at, uh, at night, go about my life, and I go to sleep when other people are home. Like, that's... Like, it sounds, like, terrible having to sleep while people are making noise, but it sounds great being able to not worry about other people when I'm awake. But then also, um, like, there's a noise issue on my side, right? When, when you're the nocturnal person, when you're the person who's up at night, you don't really get to complain so much about people making noise too much, you know, like, yeah, I mean, to a certain extent, you kind of do, like, if people are outside my door vacuuming or something like that when I'm sleeping, I'd be like, yo, save that for when I'm awake, all right, like, let's, let's be reasonable, but, uh, if I'm asleep and my dad wants to be in his workshop or something like that, and it's, like, a reasonable time for him to be doing that, and I'm just asleep, and his workshop just happens to be next to my room, then, uh, you know, I don't really get to, to whine about that. I mean, I get to whine about it, but I don't get to ask him to not do it, because, like, um, he's not the one that's sleeping at a, you know, awkward time. Uh, so I don't really get to complain about it, but they do, so when I'm awake and I'm making noise and they're being kept up, then I have to be like, oh, I'm sorry, I'll try and stay quiet, and I have to, like, work around that and stuff, so it's just, um, you know not very viable I'd have to get like sound insulation kind of stuff going on and figure out a way to make it all work it's just it's a lot more effort than it's worth and again my family doesn't uh, particularly um, get excited over the idea of renovations and I couldn't afford it either so I couldn't afford it but I would do that. I just I want freedom, man. I want freedom. Not freedom mobile, but uh, freedom in general. I want to to be able to do what I want when I want and not worry about the, well, not 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 the not the consequences, but the. Uh, but the. Um, I do not know the resource cost of a flesh pound. Thank you very much. Um, but sort of just, I mean, I guess kind of the consequences, but, you know, not doing something stupid. Yeah, that's something that always happens when, when you talk about stuff, right? Because uh, I'll, I'll talk to people, uh, oftentimes people will talk about, you know, not wanting to offend me because I'm trans or autistic or this or that or whatever. And they'll want to be like, you know, doing this. And I'm like, you just, you won't, you, you, you won't, you won't ever offend me. Nothing you do will ever offend me. And they're like, well, like, how do you know, like? You know, blah 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 blah. I'm like, just cause. No, I, okay. No, I'm, I'm I'm doing a bad job of explaining. It, okay. So I'll be like, you can't defend me. Okay. You you can't. And they're like, well, what if I did this? I'm like, you wouldn't do that though, because you're not a person who would do that. You know, like when when you're when you're making statements like that, like you have to take the the person into account as well, right? So with with like uh, what I just said, where. Uh, you know, I want to be able to do things, and not worry about the consequences. I, I, I think that's, I think that is right. You know, and it's just that uh, I'm not going to do something where, but that's stupid. You know, like I don't want to want to do something. Like I don't want to go kill somebody. I don't want to jump off a cliff. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do anything like that. Like I want to, I want to cook at like six o'clock in the uh, in the evening and not have people talking to me and you know hovering around me wondering what I'm cooking. You know, and uh, 
Yeah, so those are the kinds of consequences that uh, that I have to, to concern myself with. Oops. You always got to worry, like, concern yourself with, uh, with the context, right? The context is important. It's almost equally important to the content. That's why they're both cons. Why they're both cons. Context, content, they're both very important. Uh, we are going to be ending this episode early, though. Um, I had to do, like, three episodes today, and I'm getting a bit of a sore throat. <laughs> I'm not used to talking so much. It's been a while since I've talked to this much. Well, not really. Uh, I talk about this much every day, but um, I am getting a sore throat, so I'd rather just uh, leave that and kind of be okay. And I also just don't really want to record more. And I want to go find out what dinner is. So we're going to have an episode that's short today. And then tomorrow we'll be back on two episodes. I want to get ahead again. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. Subscribe to see more of the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,